Okay, so hi everybody. My name is Hassie. You guys saw me probably the first day. I wasn't there um, Tuesday and Wednesday, but I'm here today. So I'm gonna walk you guys through the lava lamp lab. Um, let's first go over the materials you need. So you'll need a, an empty bottle of water. It can be literally any size. Um, I just got like a very normal one. Um, then some vegetable oil, get some water or you go uh, to like your sink or something for water. Uh, your El Elka Seltzer tablet that, it, that came um, in the mail for you guys. I'm gonna bring mine out. Um, this is what it looks like. And then um, you'll need food coloring. We gave you all one of them. So just like take it out. And also make sure you're doing this on a surface that won't be damaged by oil. Um, preferably if you guys like, put some newspaper underneath where you're working right now. So if you're working on wood or something like that, try not do that, your parents might get mad. Um, so take some newspaper or I don't know, some recycling paper, paper and just like put it on the table. Uh, we can give you guys a minute if you wanna prepare that so that you don't make a mess. Another recommendation that we have is you could get a big bowl and just like put it underneath your bottle so that if it spills, it spills into the bottle or the bowl, sorry. So yeah, just a reminder, these are the materials, plastic water bottle, vegetable oil, one Alka-Seltzer tablet, food coloring and water. Um, and for the bowl, thank you. It could be like this kind of a size and you just like put it inside that way, um, as you're pouring the oil in, it doesn't spill. Um, does anyone need a minute uh, to grab some newspaper or something to prepare your area? If you do, I'll give you that minute. Yeah, I need just one more minute. Okay, sure, take your time. strange seeing myself through this camera and then through like that camera as well both at the same time how <laughs> much water are we gonna need i took like this much water but it's just to fill fill the rest of your bottle like let's say a third of your bottle that's how much you need don't put anything in yet um we'll do that all together but yeah just like two thirds of it one third of it sorry this much water that's how much i got with me um but yeah, is everybody? Uh, yeah, just remove the cap so you can pour stuff inside and uh, make sure it's big enough so you can like, you know, fill two thirds of it with oil and one third of it with water. Um, is there any other questions? Is everybody ready to continue with the lab? Yeah, okay, great, you're welcome. So let's start. We're gonna start with the oil. So as you can see, I put my bottle of water, let me just like move this chair. Um, I put my bottle of water in this bowl so because I'm sometimes clumsy and I might spill. Um, I also put some paper towels over here so that once I'm done with the oil and it spills or whatever. If this is close though, tight. Oh my God. Um, <laughs> okay, let's go. So for me, it's so what you're gonna do is fill it two, fill two thirds of it. For me, I'm just gonna use this labeling to um, indicate where the two thirds gonna be. I'm gonna fill it till here, you know, two thirds. There we go. Oh, someone needs to be uh, admitted. Can you admit them, Sarah, please? There we go. I fill two thirds of it with the oil. So two thirds of it with oil, and now we're gonna close the cap for the oil so it doesn't spill by accident. Put it aside, take the water. My hands are oily now. Um, take the water. Now fill the rest of it all the way to the neck of the bottle. Oh yeah, sure, of course. Okay. 
no worries. You're completely fine. Do you want me to just go over what we discussed right now while we're waiting for the other student? Uh, I'm gonna take it as a yes. So we're doing a lava lamp uh, lab right now. The materials that you need are uh, a plastic bottle, a uh, water bottle, just like an empty one, um, vegetable oil, uh, one Alka-Seltzer tablet, the one that we gave you, which should look like this, it was in the mail that when we sent you stuff. Uh, food coloring also came in the mail and water. Uh, the amount of water that I'm gonna use is this much. Um, so yeah, it's not really that much. And what, what I recommend is that you do this um, on a surface that's not gonna be damaged with oil and preferably take like a bowl like this and put the bottle inside of it so that if you spill, it spills into the bowl. Um, yeah. So, uh, oh yeah, also fill two thirds of the bottle with vegetable oil. I use this labeling to indicate the two thirds of it. I just did it all the way to here. Um, and now we're waiting for, for everyone to see if they're ready for me to continue. Is everyone ready for me to continue? If you're not, just say no in the chat and I can wait a minute. Is this enough oil potentially? Oh, I can't see you. Uh, who said that? Alina. Uh, Okay, let me let me look you up. Why can't I see her? Um, here, I don't see her. Oh, okay. Ooh, I think that's a little. Wait, can you show me the full bottle? Like, make it go a little further away. Yeah, a little less than that. Can you like um? Uh, uh, how am I supposed to show this to her? Okay, so you know how on your bottle there's like a little dent at one point. It's it's like the bottle and then there's a little dent. Try and take away that much of it. Go all the way to the dent because I think you put too much in. Oh, that's smart. Um, yeah, if you want to just like remove that and show me. Uh, wait, I think Ariel also put too much. Yeah, that's much better. Uh, you could still remove a tiny bit more if you want, but that's totally fine. Uh, Ariel, can you show me your full bottle, please? I think you put a little too much. Wait, take it a little bit more back. Did you already put water in it? Oh, you, okay. Um, you put too much water and too little oil. Do you have um, a separate empty bottle of water that we could use so you could try it again? Okay, great. Try filling that one two thirds with vegetable oil. Can you do that please? Should we add our water now or are we waiting? I'm waiting for the others. Um, what's wrong? Sorry, look, we're having a camera. Down. Why is your camera upside down? Uh, do you have, um, okay, one second. Someone asked a question. I'm just going to reply to their question. Okay, so I'm going to start over for you really quick while I'm waiting for our Ariel to finish with her thing. Basically, take an empty bottle of water, put it in a bowl, you know, a safe like uh, place where if you spill, it's not gonna be bad. And then fill it two thirds with vegetable oil. And then we're gonna wait for the rest because I'm waiting for everyone to be done. Is everybody at the same step right now? Can I continue? Yes, great. Should I still continue? Okay, great. So you take your water and then you fill it all the way to the neck. So let's do that. And as you're doing this, observe how the water and the oil mix together or don't. As you can see, um, the oil, the water starts going to the very bottom and the oil stays on the top. And you can see how it's just like, like momentarily for a couple seconds, it, ooh, what just happened? No, it's good. Oh, okay. Um, so for a second, the oil and the water were together, but now they're separated. The oil is at the bottom, the water is at the bottom and the oil is on top, as you can see. So now that we're at this stage, does anyone need a minute or is everyone good? 
Everyone good? Yeah, okay, great. Let's continue now. Um, oh my God, my hands are so oily. Okay, now take your food coloring, um, open it, and we're gonna start you know, putting some drops in. Um, you can start doing it one by one. We're gonna do up to like 10, maybe a little bit more. But as you're putting it in, observe how it starts going into the bottle and how it mixes with the oil and the water. So there we go. I put one in there. As you can see, it stays at the top for, for like a while and slowly by slowly, it's gonna start going to the, end, to, the, to the bottom. So I'm gonna start adding more. Second, third, four, five. See, now it's starting to go to the bottom because it's much heavier now. How when, many uh, drops should we put? Uh, 10. Let's do 10 for, for, starter, for starters, and then we can add more if you want. Um, so that was four, five. The same color. Uh, you can mix different colors if you want, or you can do one color. Depends if you have other colors. So did, did we give them more than one color? No, okay. Um, it should be liquid though. Um, otherwise, it's gonna be harder to do the lab, but um, if you have multiple colors and they're liquid food coloring, sure, go ahead. I'm using one color though. What was I at? Five, okay, let's continue. Six, seven, eight. Ooh, see, it's going back down again. Um, eight, nine, 10. And then we can add like five more because it's the 15th today and I like matching stuff. 11, 12, 13. Ooh, see, it goes down again. 14, 15, great. Okay, let's close. Yeah, I'm gonna do that right now. Um, I'm just gonna close the cap really quick so I can remove the sticker and show it to you guys. Um, where is it? So. So as you can see, the food coloring is like somewhere in here. If you want, you can show the bottom so they can see it. As you can see, it's just like a big blob in there. That's the food coloring. The black thing that you see, that's just the food coloring. Okay, now I'm gonna put it back down. <laughs> Thank you, you can come back up. <laughs> and I'm gonna open it, open it. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the Alka-Seltzer tablet and with it closed, we're gonna start crushing it. Just like, you know, just break it down inside while it's closed. Don't open it yet. I also really like green. I, I, I'm using green right now. Okay, so once you've crushed it more and you feel like it's in enough pieces, you can open it. Be careful if it doesn't spill anywhere. And also warning, do not eat this, okay? You, it's not edible. We're using it for a lab. No eating. Okay, great. So take one of the little pieces, and this is a really, this is my favorite part of the lab. Um, ooh, before I do that, look at how the coloring just like mixed the, with the water. Isn't that so cool? I love that. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Sure, sure, let's do that. I'll bring it out of the bowl so you guys can see the full thing. But you guys keep yours in the bowl if you want to be safe. Up to you guys, but just don't spill. Okay. So we're putting it in. And then it's going to start reacting to it. Don't put the whole thing in. You can put it in one by one so you can look at how it reacts. And then as you can see, it's just like fizzling up. Some of the uh, little bubbles that come up are, you know, green bottle bubbles coming from the bottom. Others are just the oil. And it's just like going around. You can start adding more. And we're just gonna do this until there's no more tablets left. Should you what? Should we close it, the water bottle? No, because you need to have it open so you can put the tablets inside. Oh. Yes. So now even more is coming up. It's really bubbling. My hands cannot reach in there. I mean, just open this up a bit more. Now it's like reacting really fast. It's like going around. It's really interesting. Okay. 
I'm gonna turn around a little bit. Ooh, now it's going to the to the very top. I have to come into the top. Don't spill. Okay, mine is like reacting a lot and I'm scared it's gonna come out of the water bottle. So I'm gonna put it back in, in the bowl. Cause you can see as it's at the top, it's just like coming up. Do you wanna show them the top? Like as you can see up here, it's coming to the very, very tip. So I don't want it to spill. I put it back in the bottle, but um. I'm gonna give it a little, like a couple seconds so it can calm down and I'm gonna put more in. Um, yes, I'll go back for you afterwards, don't worry. So we put all of them in? Uh, yes, but do it slowly because if you do it all at once, it's gonna react really fast and then it might spill out. So do it little by little and also observe how it reacts with the little parts of the tablet. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. So I'm gonna add one more. Some of my food coloring is like still in the bottle. Sorry, what? Some of the um, food coloring and the water, I think, is still in the bottom. Should I add more? No, okay. that's normal. That's completely normal. Um, is it fizzling up a little bit, like the parts of a little bit of the food coloring in the way that mine is? Yeah. Okay, then that's completely normal. All right. But yeah, um, I'm gonna add more. I'm gonna give it a minute because it's reacting a lot. I don't want it to spill. So um, while I'm waiting for this to calm down, I'm gonna explain to you what we did after we put the food coloring in. So I explained that you put in the food coloring. I put in 15 drops because today's the 15th. And I like matching stuff. Um, and then after you do that, you take the, the tablet that we gave you in the mail, don't open it. And as it's cl closed, just like crush it inside. Just like, you know, break it like this into small pieces. Um, don't crush it so much so that it becomes powder. Just, you need it to still be in pieces, but smaller pieces. And then once you have done that, open it and take one out of it like this. And then you put it inside. And then observe how it reacts with the food coloring, the oil, and the water. As you can see, mine is reacting really, really well to the point where it's spilling out. Um, this is why you need to crush it in small pieces. I should have made it that big. Um, yeah. But for me, for example, I'm going to bring it up so you guys can see the whole thing. It's like bringing up all the food coloring, coming all the way here, and then it's like fizzling out up here. There's oil and there's the water. And yeah, that's, that's science for you guys. <laughs> Wait, so you crush one and then you put it in? Crush it into small pieces. Okay. And but do you... that while it's closed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then pour the pieces in. One by one. Okay, one by one. Uh, with both tablets? No, you, you crush the, both, both of the tablets into smaller pieces. So inside of this, there's two tablets, but you make it into smaller pieces. I have like, how many did I have? I had like 10 pieces, I think, inside. It doesn't really matter how many you have, just make it into smaller pieces. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Great. Like, see, mine is like a small piece right now. I'm gonna put it back in. Let's see if it's gonna fizzle back up again. Is well, this of course it's gonna fizzle. Sorry, what? Is this too big of a piece? No, that's good. That's good. Um, and yeah. Is there a certain point when we should put in more pieces or just? We're going to continue until we're done with the pieces. But just like wait for it to react. And once it stops, once it calms down with the reacting, you can add one more. Or you can put a lot in at once, but then it might spill out like mine did and then just mess up your area which I do not recommend. So okay. I only crossed one tablet. So do I just put um, as many as like, there's no more tablets now? Yes, yes. Chunks. 
uh, yeah, the other tablet, crush that into smaller chunks and then just continue putting it in until you're, you don't have any left. Okay. Yeah. So as you can see right now, it's reacting really fast. It's just like bubbling around really fast. And as soon as it starts calming down a little bit, I'll put one more in. Okay, I'm gonna put one more in because I feel like it's calming down now. I'm done with my tablet, so I'm gonna just, you know, dispose of it, put it away. This is what the full thing looks like. I shouldn't have done that, but you know, this is what the full thing looks like. See, the reason why you shouldn't have done that because now I have food playing in my hands, which isn't fun, but you know, it's fine. So um, if you shake it, it will be the same. Yes, we're gonna shake it, but make sure you close the cap before doing that because it's gonna spill everywhere if you don't. But I was just gonna put in all of the Alka-Seltzer tablets in first, and then we're gonna shake it and observe how all of it mixes together or doesn't mix together. I'm just gonna wipe the outside a little bit because it's really, really wet. So now I close my, my bottle. I put the cap back, back in. Make sure you like, you know, really close it well so it, nothing spills out. Um, if the surrounding parts of it are a little wet, you can just dry it off with paper towels like I am doing right now. And then once you guys are ready, we're going to shake it. Okay. So what it looks like right now. Bring it up close. You can see little, little small bubbles with the green food coloring, but the behind of it is like yellow. Now I'm gonna start shaking. You can shake it in any direction, up and down, side to side. And you can see the, the, the little food coloring starts moving around. Now, why do you guys think there's a much darker substance down here and then there's like this top part with the little bubbles. Why do you think this doesn't mix with the other parts? And it's just like moving around like this. Any ideas? Okay. Anyone remember what we did yesterday in our density columns with Audrey? And I think I just gave it away a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's because of how dense the food coloring is yeah sort of so if you remember at the very beginning the food coloring and the water um we know we put water in there as well right and so after we put the water in we added the food coloring and the water and the food coloring mixed together came all the way to the bottom but the oil stayed at the top because since uh food coloring why are you asking it as if it's like a question? Do you have a question, Rebecca? No, okay. I think she was just making a guess. Oh, okay, okay, that makes sense. Um, sorry. Anyways, so the water stayed at the bottom because it's a more dense sub substance, so it means it's heavy. And the oil stayed at the top because it's less dense. And the food coloring mixed with the oil a little bit, but not fully. As you can see, it's just little particles. It's not fully mixed with the oil. And Audrey may have explained this yesterday. I wasn't there, so I'm not really sure, but I'm gonna explain it again in case you guys weren't there yesterday. So um, oil is a hydrophobic substance, uh, which means that it's scared of water. Essentially, that's what it means. Hydro means water. Uh, phobic means scared of. So oil is scared of water. It will not mix with anything that has a, that is the same like consistency of water, which is why it stayed at the top. And also because it's less heavy. Water is hydrophilic, meaning it loves water. Same with um, food coloring, it's hydrophilic, loves water. Hydro again means water, philic sort of means fond of slash loves. So that's why the water stayed at the bottom. It did not mix with the oil because the oil hates water. And it's like, no, boo, I don't like you, go away. Um, so it stayed at the bottom. 
And since it's heavier, it stayed at the bottom. Does that make sense to everyone? Do you, does anyone want me to re-explain it? That's so much food coloring on my fingers. Is everyone at the same step right now? No, I'm still adding the... Um, okay, then take your time, take your time. And um, after a while, this is mine after like three days, it's just going to go back to looking like this. All of the food coloring is going to go back to the bottom and the oil is going to stay at the top. So the food coloring in the water stays at the bottom and the oil stays at the top. Once you're done with it and it starts looking like this and you no longer want to keep it in your room, um, you can keep it capped, sealed, closed really well and then just throw it in the trash. Do not dispose of it in your sink because the oil will clog your sink. Do you understand why it does that? So again, oil does not like water, right? And it's less heavy compared to water. If you put it in the sink, it's just gonna stay at the top and then it's gonna go down in the drain and it's just gonna like really mess it together and then it's not gonna be fun. It's gonna be really, really not fun for the plumber. Um, so let's not do that because we don't wanna make it not fun for the plumber. And um, if we think about real life situations, have you guys ever seen when oil is spilled into the oceans and there's like this black consistency all the top and then surrounding of it is just like a bunch of water. That's the same situation as this. The oil spills into the ocean, the water is less heavy so it stays at the bottom and on the top is just a bunch of oil that does not want to mix with the water and around it there's the water. It's not fun because it's bad for the ocean obviously. Um, and for the natural habitats that live there, or in like the natural ecosystems, I mean. And you can add, oh, okay, someone asked a question. Um, and yeah, does that make sense? Does anyone have any questions? Great. I'm gonna still wait for you guys to continue adding your tablets. Once you're done, please let me know. And we can be done with this lab and move on to the next one. Isn't that exciting? If anyone is done, comment, uh, like add in the chat what food coloring you use, like what color. I use green. Let's see who's in team green. Oh, you're in team blue. Okay, I'm in team green. This is obviously the best team. So anyone in this team is, there we go. See, you're, you're team green, you're, you're in my team. Oh, Rebecca's in two teams at once, crazy. So your loyalties lay in two different places at once. Yeah, it kind of, it's like really dark. So it kind of looks like, looks like black. So I, I can, I understand why if you add added blue and um, red together, it looks darker. Ooh, nice. Blue, okay. And then red, nice you guys. Oh, and then you add it completely red. That's so cool, that looks really nice. Okay. I don't have my tablet so I can make a green one. That's true, you can make a completely different one. So by now, since the reaction is kind of, you know, over and it's, there's so much food coloring. Look at that little particles of like just the food coloring moving around. Crazy, um, sorry. <laughs> Let's go back to what I was saying. Um, now, as you can see, the reaction has kind of subsided and there's a few like particles Again, this is why I put it in the bottle because they're really clumsy. Um, let's just like. I'm so sorry. Anyways, as I was saying, as you can see, um, your actions kind of subsided. So there's a few particles of green inside the oil part, but the majority of it went back to the water part. It's not fuzzling around again like it was with the um, when you put the Elka Seltzer tablet in. Okay. Um, that's it for my lab. Look at you guys. We all just made a lava lamp. Isn't that exciting? Um, I'm going to put my stuff away. I will dispose of this in the trash can, not in the sink, 
or the cho or the toilet do not do that your parents will get mad at you and then the plumber will be really sad the plumber will have a really really bad day do you guys want that no so i will dispose of both of these later in the trash 